this your first CPAC? Yes, I'm so excited. I'm full of energy. Is that a fact? Who is the conservative that you admire the most? I would have to say Nikki Haley. Um, I think she paved the way for a lot of women, and I love watching her, the way she speaks, the way she carries herself. I think for me, Ronald Reagan is like the epitome of conservatism. You know, I grew up in the 80s, and so he was the man back in the 80s. I grew up in the 80s, too. You're an 80s child. Shall we play a game? I'm going to say Ronald Reagan. He's one of the greatest presidents ever. That would be between Ronald Reagan or Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Think about it. You know, the left always portrays this war on women thing, and yet we have a conservative rock star who, like, came over here, loved America, and worked with us on things. So I think she's pretty awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> who is the conservative that you admire the most? At the moment, I love Kellyanne Conway. What comes to mind is Kellyanne Conway. She's the woman who perfectly embodies how you should be a woman in power in politics today. The conservative I admire the most who's living is President Donald Trump. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Who is really realigning the conservative movement. He's an outsider, he's not a legacy politician. I love Dana Perino. So she, um, she's a strong woman, and I hope I get to be press secretary one day. I have to put Jesse Waters, two T's, Ooh. in that category among one of my most admired conservatives. Well, thank you very You're in good much. company. Donald Trump still has trouble with some in the conservative precincts. Why do you think that is? I think it's mostly pride and ego. Oh, really? I think with Donald Trump, the big issue is, is he really who he says he is? You know, the problem with Republicans, they campaign as conservatives, but when they get to Washington, they turn into liberals. Who's in that jar? Nothing, just water. Conservatives, some of them, still have trouble with Donald Trump as president. I think because Donald Trump himself isn't necessarily a conservative, but I think he deserves a lot of credit for putting a lot of conservatives around him. I think that some conservatives are afraid to see the party uh, progress into something new. Oh, so that's it. From the beginning, he was never actually a conservative, in my opinion. I don't think he is the standard bearer of the conservative movement. Um, I am hopeful. I love Bill O'Reilly. Is, is he a conservative? I mean, I don't... <laughs> You always ask somebody a question? I think he does a good job of balancing it, but I would say he's definitely more to the right. Really? Bill O'Reilly is not only a conservative, he is a deplorable conservative. <laughs> I love going on Bill's show, so I'm going to say he's a conservative. <laughs> You're just saying that so he keeps booking you. Oh yeah, why not? It's the number one show on TV. I think he is. He's old school. Are you calling Bill old? No, I'm just calling him old school. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed by it. Do you know whose world it is? Water's world. Correct. Oh, it's always Water's world. I'm Water's, and this is my world. Can you be in my world? <laughs> I'm giving you and your friends one minute to get off this ranch. 